In my previous video, I have shown you how selection criteria works. If you have not watched this video, you can find the link in my description box or right at the corner of your screen. Okay, today from this selection criteria, we are going to calculate the payback period or PBP. So without further delay, let's start. PBP or payback period is the time when you will get back the amount you have invested. So suppose you have invested 5000. So you want to know when you will get back the amount you have invested. So that means that when you will get back your 5000. So to calculate it, there is a formula. You see on your screen, payback period is equal to CF minus CCF divided by CF. It's very easy. CF means cash flow, CCF means cumulative cash flow, and it will be divided by CF means cash flow. So there are several ways to calculate payback period, but I think that this is the standard one to calculate it. You can get it, you know, it's in a more accurate form. So let's start. Suppose, you know, there is a investment year is given and there are four uh, inflows years are given. I mean to say is that like you see that in year column there is zero one two three four zero in zero year you see the cash flow is uh, ten thousand as in bracket that means it's a negative form you can write it minus ten thousand or you can write it ten thousand in bracket so that is cash outflow so cash flows are two types cash inflow or outflow so inflow is when you will uh, get money in your hand so it's coming in so it's inflow when money is going out of your hand, that's called outflow. Okay, so when it's in negative form or it's in bracket, so that means that it's outflow. Now there are year one, two, three, four, and you see the five thousand, three thousand, one thousand, five thousand. So these are in positive form. So that that means that these are cash inflows. So if you sum up all these inflows, how much amount we are getting? Let's see, 5,000 plus 3,000, 8,000, plus 1,000, 9,000, plus 5,000 is equal to 14,000. So, you see that if you sum, if we sum up the inflows, we get 14,000. But we don't need uh, 14,000. We need to know when we were getting back the uh, amount, exactly 10,000 we have invested. So, to calculate that, we have a formula. So, I have we have already discussed on that. On that. So there's let's uh, start calculating uh, cumulative cash flow. How to calculate that? Let's see. You see, so the, this uh, outflow or investment uh, the, or invested amount goes straight to the cumulative cash flow uh, column. Okay. Now, in the from year one, we're going to start deducting. So from minus ten thousand, we have plus five thousand. So plus five thousand minus. 10,000 is equal to minus 5,000. So don't think that this 5,000 comes here and in, you know, bracket form. It, it's not like that. You have plus 5,000, you have minus 10,000. There's a cross calculation, you see. So plus 5,000 minus 10,000 is equal to minus 5,000. In year two, there is 3,000 inflow. So plus 3,000 minus 5,000 is equal to 2,000. Now, year three, you have 1,000 inflow. So plus 1000 minus 2000 is equal to 1000. Okay. In year 4, there's 5000 inflow. So plus 5000 minus 1000 equal to one, equal to 4000. So this time we're getting the positive figure. So we don't need to calculate the cumulative cash flow further because when we get the uh, um, a positive amount in cumulative cash flow, we immediately stop calculating the um, uh, cumulative cash flows. We don't need to go further. Okay. So until you get the positive amount. Now, let's do the math. You see that, you know, in year four, we have get, got back the positive amount. But in year three, is uh, you know, it's still in a negative form. That means that we're going to take the whole year of year, year three. But we're not going to use, I mean, we're no, it is not going to take the whole year of four. That means that we, it, in three years, few months, we will get back the amount. But how many months in year four it's going to take, we don't know. So we have to calculate that. So we have to take the whole year of until year three. That's why to calculate the payback period, we take three. 
so we need to take whole year of three we have to wait until the whole year three but few months in year four so we have to uh, calculate that how many months in year four will uh, get back the money of invested so that's why payback period is equal to three plus now don't do the mistake here like your cash flow minus cumulative cash flow here don't take the amount of year three okay so you, you if you take that 1000 minus cumulative cash flow which is 1000 1000 minus 1000 it, it will be the wrong wrong turn okay you have to take the cash flow and uh, cumulative cash flow amount of year four okay so three years plus 5000 which is the cash flow is 5000 5000 cash flow minus ccf ccf is 4000 so 5000 minus 4000 divided by cf which is 5000 so 5000 minus 4000 divided by 5000 okay if we do the calculation we get 3.2 years so in 3.2 years we'll get back the amount we have invested now it's actually confusing three years we get it but few months in year four so point two from this point two what we actually identify is really confusing right we need accurate amount in how many months or in how many days now to you know calculate that we take three years okay now this point two will be multiplied by 12 then it will be converted into months because there are 12 months in one year so 0.2 in multiplied by 12 months so we get three years 2.4 months now we need exact amount okay 2.4 months two months we get it but 0.4 that means the two months few days now how many days we need to know that okay so to get that we calculate again three years we take this time two months now this 0.4 will be multiplied by three because there are three days in a month so 0.4 multiplied by uh, 30 sorry sorry if i if i said wrong like it's the slip of tongue like 0.4 multiplied by 30 because there are 30 days in a month so it will be converted into days now three years two months and we get 12 days now if it's, it were 12.5 uh, days we didn't need to uh, calculate again in, and convert it into uh, hours then uh, you know minutes then seconds so convert it until days it be enough more than enough you don't need to go further so this is the calculation you need to understand i hope that i have explained you in detail step by step you do shouldn't have any confusion so at first we what you have done we have done like from from these inflows and outflows we get we get uh, to know the cumulative cash flows then we identify the year when it will be positive then uh, how many exactly how many whole years it's gonna take so don't uh, you know make mistake don't count this zero number year and make it like four year okay so to count it from year one two and three zero it, you cannot count this zero year okay uh, so uh, while counting that exactly how many years whole years it's gonna take uh, don't start counting from year zero start counting from year one so one two three and in year four we have we get a, a, a positive amount that means that in year four we we need some months to get back the amount so take the uh, year before that so year three then plus then the cash flow minus cumulative cash flow, which is the formula actual formula cash flow minus cumulative cash flow divided by cash flow if we do this we get a, a figure which which can which may come in decimal then take the round figure and uh, you know multiply this uh, decimal by 12 first convert it into months if we get again a decimal figure then take the months and then uh, with the decimal you multiply 30 and convert it uh, into into days and that's it you get your answer so three years two months and 12 days are your payback period if you now if your target period is uh, is suppose if your target period is four years and you get back the money in three years two months and 12 days you definitely gonna accept the project this is the selection criteria now if your target period is three months three three years uh, and your you know uh, payback period is three years two months 12 days you can uh, reject the project 
but it's very close then then you can uh, actually it depends on you that, that you're gonna wait for extra two months or not so this is all about payback period thank you very much